welcome to my very first um, YouTube video. Today we're going to be showing off what essentially I have in my backpack at all times. So just uh, a couple of ballpoint pens, a Tombow blender marker, and a couple of pencils. Uh, I don't carry a ton of Copics with different grays or whatever. Uh, I try to keep things simple and you'll see here in a minute why. So all you really need is the gel pen and a blender for like some really in-depth sketching. Uh, most of my sketchbooks I tend to use a ballpoint pen instead of a pencil. Uh, I, I just always have drawn with a ballpoint pen ever since I was a little kid. There was only like that lying around, there were a ton of them, um, and typing paper, that's all I had. Uh, the benefit with the ballpoint pen is you can't erase. Every mark you lay down, every mistake, you have to live with and work, work it out. Um, I think that's a good way to be in life in general. Um, gel pen has a nice dark line when you lay it down. It's a little smeary and I like that in a just a down and dirty uh, sketching tool. Uh, sometimes oh, you'll see it in a lot of my work. Uh, I lean into the smear a lot in, in drawing. Um, saves a lot of, I don't like fuss around and go over repeatedly over marks I made in the past. I, I think that just kind of uh, is a waste of time. Um, so I, if it, here I'm doing here is I'm blocking things in uh, essentially and going around the drawing just getting things down um, this is something I've actually always wanted to show my niece I bought her a Tombow for blender for Christmas but I never really got to sit down and show her how to use it but I'm sure her father's listening and all she really needs is the gel pen and the blender brush if it hasn't dried up yet um, so I guess we are drawing the Sandman I, I just finished watching the, the trailer uh, looks amazing really excited uh, I always thought Matt Smith would be a fantastic uh, Sandman, but you know, you gotta support the Toms. And uh, the trailer looks great. Can't wait to check it out. So here we've blocked everything in with the gel pen. Now we're moving to the Tombow. Now it's time to start picking things out. And we're just gonna define the brow. There we go. And I'm gonna just move around the face. That's the thing I usually go to first, the eyes, and then balance the drawing off the eyes. Um, start to define the nose. And he kind of worked around the body. And I think it was here where I realized that I botched the nose and the... <laughs> I botched the nose and the eye. And the, oh, the nose seems to be like detaching from the face. And, uh, you know, it's a doodle. You gotta live with it. Um, it's by no means a finished sellable drawing. This is just to kind of get an idea down. Um, his ballpoint pen drawings have been really trendy as of late. Uh, 
And the thing with that is, I, I don't, in good conscience, I can't sell a ballpoint pen drawing because the, some of the inks will actually fade over time. They're not uh, light fast by any means. They're not technically meant to be drawing media archivable. Um, I've noticed like some of my sketchbooks, uh, some of them like even like not exposed to light, the ink has actually faded over time. It's very faint. Um, I could almost reuse some of the sketchbooks because they're they're almost virtually blank. Um, and uh, so I don't really gonna say much more here. I'm just gonna walk out and have you. Watch me render the crap out of this thing. Okay, we're going to switch it up. This is actually a full lead pencil. There's no wood in it at all. I love these because you can just really get some long, luscious strokes with the, the side of the, the pencil. Um, it'll further help like sharpen up the shadows and but, uh, this particular one I'm using is an HB. It's kind of a mid-tone. Um, for those that don't know, they come in different grades of darkness. So the HB is a middle-of-the-road type of pencil. Um, I also play with uh, watercolor graphite. Uh, which again helps with the blending.
Okay, so what I'm getting ready to do here is just uh, flip the sketch pad over. The front of the cover has a nice watercolor tooth to it, so I'm going to take the graphite and uh, pull some of it up and then rub it onto the drawing. I haven't messed with this sort of thing a lot. Most of the time I'm drawing, I just tend to zone out and it's a happy accident. But you can definitely play with that and get some nice looks with this particular um, graphite pencil. And we are wrapping up here. I'm going to call this done, despite the wonky nose. Uh, I'm just going to live with that. I hope my niece got a lot out of this video. I hope you got a lot out of this video. And, uh, yeah, we are done. Morpheus the Dream King. Thank you all so very much for checking out my first video. I'm still trying to work out this channel and what the heck they have on here uh yeah like follow subscribe we will see you later